Okay, welcome back to Cloud 941. We're here with City Commissioner Ken Schillen. All right, Ken, tell us about uh, maybe a couple of your favorite restaurants, one or two. Well, my all-time favorite in downtown Sarasota is the Bijou. I like to go there for lunch. It's a little expensive for dinner, but uh, I love the lamb sandwich. And nine times out of ten when I go for lunch, I have the lamb sandwich. So that's my, and I have my favorite table, which is 301. It's in the corner in the lounge by the front window and um, then I can see everybody coming and going so I can duck and hide if, yeah, I, if somebody I, I was going to say if somebody has a gripe they, that's the, they yeah. can go find yeah. you there oh, okay but uh, <laughs> also the Americano I, I, I have lunch at the Americano a lot I don't go out to dinner so much uh, as I do for lunch and I like to have working lunches because I often invite people to join me and we talk about topics uh, related to city business tell us about a hobby that you may have that might surprise somebody well, I mentioned theater. I have a degree in theater, and I'm on the board at the Players Theater. And uh, I really have a strong commitment to the arts. And uh, I've worked with uh, Russ Crumley, who's the new executive director of the Arts Council, and Michael Edwards at the Oslo, and Richard Hopkins at Florida Studio Theater. Uh, I, I'm re I want to encourage the arts. And, and I've tried to use the leverage that I have as a city commissioner to encourage these people. And if they have a project, one project that I worked on was affordable housing for visiting artists. You know, we had some really lousy apartments. And many of these groups, like the opera, need housing for these people who come into town to perform here. And uh, as a consequence of that, the Oslo eventually bought, raised a million dollars and bought 10 brand new condominiums for use uh, for their visiting actors so that they would have a decent place to stay in Sarasota and would be happy to come here. And Florida Studio Theater is going to be building, uh, I think, six or eight apartments in the central in Rosemary District off Central Avenue. Yeah, Sarasota sort of carved out a niche as an artist community and, and is that is that one of your priorities to have? Well, it's actually our industry. It's the it's the strongest industry. There's a very interesting statistic that I recently learned, and that is that the number of people or the ratio of people uh, engaged in the performing arts in Sarasota matches that in Manhattan. Wow. So it's a very important industry to us, and I think it's something that we can focus on as we try to pull ourselves out of the economic downturn that we're in. We have a resource already. We need to brand it and build on it. Okay. Now, uh, the city commission races are nonpartisan. Right. They're, they're not uh, Republican, Democrat. Do you agree with that? And, and if so, why? Why do you think that's a good idea? I think as long as we have the form of government that we have, the, the commission manager form of government, that it probably is the best way uh, to, to have these races as nonpartisan races. This form of government is designed to diffuse the concentration of power. And so it, it, it the, the nonpartisan character of the individual races fits with that. I think if we change our form of government, then that may well change. You it's, mean with the strong mayor proposal? Well, it's, I don't, the, you mean the, what's on the referendum yes. uh, on the ballot tomorrow? I don't see it as a strong mayor proposal. I actually see it as a weak mayor proposal right. because the mayor doesn't even have veto power. I guess I should say uh, a mayor. <laughs> a mayor, an elected mayor. Yeah. Um, but I think at some point if we change our form of government, then uh, we may want to consider making these partisan races because uh, uh, the, the public is much more apt to find out who the candidates really are if they have some resources behind them. Right now it's very difficult, particularly for non-incumbents, to become known in these races, and both for good or ill. You know, it's, it's one of the things that I've noticed in the candidate forums with the eight candidates, nine candidates actually, we have one we've never seen. Uh, it's very difficult for the public to know who these people are right. because they, they get a very small snapshot of their positions in these candidate forums because there are so many people in the race uh, and they aren't able to do much outside of these candidate forums in terms of mailings or television commercials or newspaper ads so that the public gets a clearer picture of them. Real quick, uh, what's your position on the elected mayor and expanding the city commission to seven members? Well, I've taken the position as a sitting commissioner that I should not be telling the public how they should be governed. I think the public needs to tell us. 
it, particularly if we oppose, as, as four of the commissioners have done, because it makes look, it look like we're protecting our own territory, our own interests on the commission, and I don't think we should be protecting ourselves. I think that's, that's a decision the voters should make about who and what we are. There's been some criticism recently that I've read, uh, particularly in The Observer, about the city manager, Mr. Bartoletta, mm -hmm. that he's too lo low profile, he's too disengaged from the community, you don't really see him around town very much. Would you agree with that, and what do you think the role of the city manager should be? Well, the city manager is the professional, the experienced and trained professional who is supposed to operate the government on a, on a day to day basis. And the city commission is supposed to be the face of the city government, it's supposed to be the policy makers, provide the vision and the direction for the city government. So he really should not take a, a, a highly visible position in the community. Uh, I think the the real question is what is the relationship between the city commission and the city manager and is it working and I think um, maybe it's a little early to tell whether it's working well but uh, I, I think some of the criticism comes from that um, the city manager is a very strong individual very strong he has a very strong personality and and I think it does set up some conflicts at times that uh, would would not occur if uh, if if his personality was more negotiative okay. in nature. All right, we'll uh, take our last break, and we'll be back with more of uh, Ken Sheelan and our Weasel of the Week.